Yo, it's Jacob, and this is A Better Impact, where we come at you with easy, eco-friendly tips and ideas. Maybe you compost, whether it be at home or you have a drop-off or a pickup service, or maybe you even have a heap in the backyard. But it's important to kind of navigate the gray area of composting where seemingly compostable items may contain microplastics. It's just kind of like a deceptive item that you think was compostable, but you have to kind of look twice at it. So we're gonna talk about how you should keep that third eye open when composting questionable items. The first item you should think twice about composting is dryer lint. Dryer lint isn't compostable if you throw uh, clothing into the dryer that isn't made of a natural fiber. Natural fiber clothing is something like cotton, maybe wool or linen, hemp, hemp clothing. But if you're wearing anything else, maybe like athletic wear, those things contain microplastics in them. So you have to think twice before composting your dryer lint. It may contain microplastics from your clothing. To avoid this, maybe just dry your natural fiber clothing and maybe hang dry those clothes. But a lot of people wear clothes that have microplastic, pl microplastics in them. Even we do. We're not perfect. Some of our, even our secondhand clothing may contain plastic in it. So again, think twice before you compost that dryer lint. The weather's cold. Who doesn't enjoy a nice warm cup of tea? And maybe you might wanna compost that tea after you're done drinking it but you have to think again if it's a tea bag. A lot of tea bags come with a layer of plastic on the, on the bag itself. It can also have a staple in it. You have to make sure that your tea doesn't have that layer of plastic and you can tell by a kind of like layer of shine on the bag, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to kind of find uh, that sort of packaging. So before you compost your tea, make sure that that tea bag doesn't have any plastic on it. If you wanna avoid this problem completely, it's probably best to switch to a loose leaf tea, which is awesome, and a reusable tea steeper, whether it be the clamp one or the shell one, or even just a silicone um, shaped one. And that's how we avoid microplastics in our tea and in our compost. So again, look back at that tea before you throw it in the compost. There's a lot of cool stuff you can throw into your compost that the worms will eat up. One of the, or two of the weirder things that you can throw in there are nail clippings and hair. But you have to think twice before you throw your nail clippings or your hair into your compost. You can't really put nail clippings that have nail polish on them. So if you like to paint your nails, if that's the thing you do, make sure you're not throwing those clippings into the compost if you use nail polish. Um, and that goes for hair as well. If you have chemically treated hair, you might want to avoid throwing that into your compost bin um, as well. Unfortunately, that can kind of contaminate it and it's really just not good for your compost. Sorry. Who doesn't love takeout and takeout food? Every once in a while, we treat ourselves to some takeout, but unfortunately, takeout comes with packaging, right? Sometimes that packaging can be compostable, but you have to be careful. You can get takeout packaging that may seem compostable, but can be quite deceptive. So something like this, this used to have the kind of flaps, um, that foldable takeout container. This may seem compostable, but if you look carefully, the inside is lined with um, this kind of shiny substance and that's plastic. So this isn't compostable, unfortunately. If you're trying to compost your takeout containers, you can check for compostable takeout containers if it tears easily um, or if it like has like a paper uh, appearance. So something like this takeout container is compostable and you can see like it's, it's easy to tear. So quite easy to tear apart and you kind of rip that up and you can throw it into your compost. Look out for something like this instead of something like this. This cannot be composted and this can. It can be hard to kind of discern them, but with that watchful eye that you've developed, you can keep your compost safe if you throw something in this, like this in there, free of microplastics. Maybe you enjoy a glass of wine after work. Maybe you didn't know this, but corks, the corks that come from your wine are compostable. 
But again, you've got to be super careful when it comes to throwing those corks right into your compost. Now, this is an example of a, um, these are examples of compostable corks and you can kind of see like the variation in it and you can kind of tell that it's a natural cork. These are okay to throw into your compost, but something like this, this is a synthetic cork and this cannot be composted. I'm pretty sure this is made of plastic. And the easiest way to tell the difference between a natural cork and a synthetic cork is the, obviously the variation in material. And you can also tell there's like, it's solid. So it's like a solid thing and it's kind of shiny. It's got this kind of gloss on it. I'm looking at you, Winking Owl from Aldi. Sorry, those corks aren't compostable. So just be careful. Make sure you're looking at those corks carefully before you're throwing them in there or better yet, upcycle them into something cool. As you can see, there are hidden microplastics in seemingly compostable products, but you guys are awesome. Maybe you opened up that third eye to be able to see whether or not the items you throw in there are compostable. Hopefully this helps you kind of keep an eye out um, or a better eye out for those compostable items. I hope you guys can still have a better impact. This has been Jacob and I hope to see you next time. Deuces. See ya.